Question 1. What is Linux Shell? Answer. Linux Shell is a user interface used for executing the commands. Shell is a program the user uses for executing the commands. In Unix, any program can be the user's shell. Shell categories in Linux are born shell compatible, C shells compatible, non-traditional, and historical. Question 2. What is shell script? Answer. A shell script, as the name suggests, is a script written for the shell. Script here means a programming language used to control the application. The shell script allows different commands entered in the shell to be executed. Shell script is easy to debug, quicker as compared to writing big programs. However the execution speed is slow because it launches a new process for every shell command executed. Examples of commands are cp, cn, and cd. Question 3. What are pipes? Answer. A pipe is a chain of processors so that output of one process out, is fed an input in, to another. Unix shell has a special syntax for creation of pipelines. The commands are written in sequence separated by. Different filters are used for pipes like awk grep. Question 4. What stateless Linux server? What feature it offers? Answer. A stateless Linux server is a centralized server in which no state exists on the single workstations. There may be scenarios when a state of a particular system is meaningful, a snapshot is taken then, and the user wants all the other machines to be in that state. This is where the stateless Linux server comes into picture. Question 5. What does NS Lookup do? Explain its two modes. Answer. NS Lookup is used to find details related to a domain name server. Details like IP addresses of a machine, MX records, servers etc. It sends a domain name query packet to the corresponding DNS. NS Lookup has two modes. Interactive and non-interactive. Interactive mode allows the user to interact by querying information about different hosts and domains. Non-interactive mode is used to face information about the specified host or domain. Question 6. What is Bash Shell? Answer. Bash is a free shell for Unix. It is the default shell for most Unix systems. It has a combination of the C and CON shell features. Bash Shell is not portable. Any Bash specific feature will not function on a system using the Born Shell or one of its replacements, unless Bash is installed as a secondary shell and the script begins with hash, bin, bash. It supports regular and expressions. When Bash script starts, it executes commands of different scripts. Scripts. Question 7. What are the process states in Linux? Answer. Process states in Linux. Running. Process is either running or ready to run. Interruptible. A blocked state of a process and waiting for an event or signal from another process. Uninterruptible. A blocked state. Process waits for a hardware condition and cannot handle any signal. Stopped. Process is stopped or halted and can be restarted by some other process. Zombie. Process terminated, but information is still there in the process table. Question 8. What is a zombie? Answer. Zombie is a process state when the child dies before the parent process. In this case the structural information of the process is still in the process table. Since this process is not alive, it cannot react to signals. Zombie state can finish when the parent dies. All resources of the zombie state process are cleared by the kernel. Question 9. What is a file system? Answer. Sum of all directories called file system. A file system is the primary means of file storage in Unix. File systems are made of inodes and super blocks. Question 10. What is the difference between internal and external commands? Answer. Internal commands are stored in the same level as the operating system while external commands are stored on the hard disk among the other utility programs. Question 11. What is the difference between an argument and an option, or switch? Answer. An argument is what the command should act on. It could be a file name, directory, or name. An option is specified when you want to request additional information over and above the basic information each command supplies. Question 12. What is the purpose of online help? Answer. Online help provides information on each operating system command, the syntax, the options, the arguments with descriptive information. Question 13. What are two subtle differences in using the more and the pg commands? Answer. With the more command you display another screen full by pressing the spacebar, with pg you press the return key. The more command returns you automatically to the Unix shell when completed, while pg waits until you press return. 
Question 14. Name two methods you could use to rename a file. Answer. Two methods that could be used. A. Use the my command. B. Copy the file and give it a new name and then remove the original file if no longer needed. Question 15. What can you tell about the tar command? Answer. The tar program is an immensely useful archiving utility. It can combine an entire directory tree into one large file suitable for transferring or compression.